All right, everyone. Today we're going to be doing some forensic science, some fingerprinting. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need a jar, a closed jar that you can open and close. You're going to need two pieces of aluminum foil, two pieces of aluminum foil, and you're going to need some super glue. Careful with the super glue. Don't get it on your hand. It's kind of tricky, so careful with this thing. All right. Um, now that we have that, what we're going to do, maybe I'm going to show down here. All right. So what we're going to do, as you can see, is we're going to get this jar, we're going to lay it on its side, and I'm just going to put it down like this. Now we're going to get our, kind of our fingers like greasy, and we're going to put our hair on it. Uh, so we can put our hair or like rub it on our nose to get it a little greasy or oily. Uh, and then once you do that, make a firm, I guess I'll, I'll use my middle finger, again, make a firm press. Okay, so pressing down and then taking out. Okay, now I'm gonna put that inside this jar. Go, go, go. And with the other one, with the other aluminum foil, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some super glue on this. Okay, put a, a decent amount of super glue. It has some chemicals in it that's gonna kind of ex extract this fingerprint. So carefully, don't get any of it on your hands, and slowly, make sure it doesn't spill anywhere, put it in here. Okay, so they're both in there. And then you're gonna close this up so that the chemicals can do its work, and then you can see the fingerprint. Okay. After you do this, you're gonna wait around 30 minutes until you can see the fingerprint. So let's just put that aside for now and wait 30 minutes. All right, everyone. So now we're gonna be making fingerprints a different way. Um, you're gonna either use this ink pad or you're just gonna be using a piece of paper. I'm gonna show you both methods of how you can make fingerprints with ink pad or pencil. You're also gonna want like a sheet of paper that like label things pinky, ring, middle, index, and thumb, okay? So you're gonna have this piece of paper, label it, and we're gonna start making some fingerprints. All right, so I'm gonna show you both methods. All right, let me look down here. All right, so first, oh, you're also gonna need tape. First, we're gonna use the ink pad method, which is, you know, pretty simple. Last time I used my middle finger, so maybe this time I'll use my ring finger. So you just press it down onto the pad. And then when you have a good press, you just kind of press it onto the paper. And I'm gonna put it where it says ring. Okay, and now I have uh, so my ring finger right there, okay? And you're gonna wanna do this for all of it using uh, the ink pad just to have an index of how your fingers work. The next method, you're gonna get a piece of paper. Uh, so do the ink pad for all of them, but I'm going to show you the other method. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of use this pencil and this is gonna kind of be the ink pad. So you're gonna kind of uh, just go back and forth, rub it like this, make sure it's kind of dark. Maybe this time I'll use the pinky. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press your pinky into this. So I'm gonna press my pinky, get a good press. Make sure not to move it too much side to side, but get a good press. And then it's kind of hard to see, but you're gonna have probably someone help you, but you're gonna get a piece of tape. Oops. And then you're gonna kind of place the tape where the pencil is. And then, once you do that, you're gonna take it off carefully. If you need to do it again, do it again. And I'm gonna put it where it says pinky. I'm gonna put it at the bottom there. And you can see it's pretty clear uh, once you put it on this white tape. And then you're gonna to wanna to do that for all of them using the pen pencil method, making all of them with both this, the ink pad, and with the pencil. All right, good luck. Probably going to be hard to see. Ooh, this this is also a little bit sticky, but you can see. Well, I'm not sure if you can see, but you should be able to see some sort of a fingerprint there. 